Alright fellow sim enthusiasts, this is BC Builds 11 this will be my first video on this channel showing you my homemade sim cockpit race setup, whatever the fuck you want to call it. First I'll show you the TV, which is only a 32 inch Emerson, it's only 720 you know, it's good enough, it's 150 bucks uh, on the Black Friday sale. You know, I had to go there and get somebody else's TV, bought one for myself, should have bought two more and had the three set up, but I didn't. And next, which just came in the mail last Friday, I believe, is my Fanatic CSR wheel, the standard CSR pedals, and then the Porsche shifter set, which will soon be changing the knob on it. I have the knob somewhere around here. You can see it in this bag, just a chrome knob, and it actually lights up. Got it at Walmart for 15 bucks. You can see the custom mount for the CN... Uh, what is it, the Porsche shifter set, this piece of wood here that holds it up, because the two rods was kind of janky, that didn't work. That pole next to it, actually handle, is an e-brake. And yes, it does work, and we'll see if you can see the insides. You know, just a micro switch, some basic metal hardware, and this box is in, is actually a storage unit, it's like a little cubby, you know, you can mount a bunch of them together. No, it just made it easier because it had the shelf and I could mount the shifter on it at the same time. Uh, I do have the standard CSR pedals, which uh, aren't the Elite, which don't have the load cell and the brake. They're all potentiometers, which, you know, before I bought them, I read a lot of bad reviews about them, about the pen, um, giving out dirty signals. But I went on to basherboards.com and bought their pedal filter. I think it was $22.00. And I haven't had a problem. You know, I don't know if they had a problem to begin with because I never used them without the basher board. But, you know, just as an insurance policy because I heard a lot of bad reviews, you know. But I can't complain. I haven't had a pedal with them. They're far better than my old pedal set, you know. And I already showed you the wheel. And just to let you know, it's not the club sport, you know. I didn't want to spend 500 bucks on just the fucking wheel, you know, when I just got into this. And so far, this wheel is fucking amazing, to put it at that, you know. I'm not going to do a review of the actual wheel, you know, you can find about 40 of these online, you know, but it is the Forza branded wheel, you know, I, for, I pl pretty much play Forza 4 and Forza Horizon and some Dirt 3, really haven't gotten into the PC racing yet, you know, I know everybody says to, but I don't feel like lugging my computer down here. And you can see that, that is a baby monitor that is not working, my daughter is upstairs sleeping, hence why I'm not actually showing you a driving demo. I don't want her to wake up halfway through the video. Over here we have the Xbox, which is heavily modded. You know, you can't see from the outside. I believe in all clean mods, not any of this janky shit. Uh, I actually, it's the same cooling fan. I just replaced the actual fan in the motor and upped the power on it. It actually has, uh, I started off with no hard drive and it's just four gigs internal memory. I went out and bought the 320 gig hard drive and then not long after that, I converted my, what is it, just portable hard drive, which was one terabyte, and put that in the 320 gig shell. So now we're running it uh, just under a terabyte, you know, the Xbox uses memory, you know, so I'm not getting the full terabyte. We have the Turtle Beach PX41 headphones, I think that's what they are. They're full 7.1 surround sound. Out of two speakers, I don't know how it works, but it does. They're amazing. So if you're willing to shell out, I think 170 bucks for them. Maybe they have them cheaper because they have a new model out. I definitely recommend it. You don't have to have a surround sound to get the same sound. You know, the two controllers on the Nyko base. Another old tube TV that was just sitting on the floor. I put it on this just to get it out the way. A box full of random wires. Another pair of Turtle Beach headsets. And then this is my old shifter set, the one that I custom built, you know, and I still, you know, I hooked it up to the CSR, I converted one of the wires, and I think I like this more than their actual sequential shifter. You know, this is not an 8 shifter, but for drifting, this just has far better feel. And then there is the old pedals I had. These are just pedal covers from a car. You know, they're nothing like CSR pedals. The brake was really loose. So I modded it, I'll show you a picture, by putting a spring in the back and a moving hinge. And this gives it kind of the feel that these CSR pedals do. You know, very nice. But they're soon to be gutted. I'm going to pull them all apart and take the two 
potentiometers out of the pedals and one out of this old Hori wheel that I got at Xbox for 80 bucks. It was a piece of shit, but it still worked. I still use it occasionally. And I'm going to use the potentiometer and replace the e-brake micro switch with the potentiometer. So, like, when you're really drifting, you can finesse the e-brake. It's not just all on or all off. So, you know, that's pretty much the end of it. You know, this is my entire setup. Well, that is an X-Rocker basic bottom of the line model that has speakers in it that I don't even use. I mounted it to an old sub box. You know, I build stereos. I have a couple extra sub box, you know, to get it off the ground. And I custom built this black table here. You can't see because it's black, you know, just out of some random scrap wood. I don't believe in buying a $400 racing cockpit when I can build one for free. That works just as well and it's actually more comfortable and more adjustable. And that's why I built everything else. Like you can buy e-brake kits online for Fnatic, I found, you know. Well, not just necessarily for Fnatic. Every wheel company basically wire it to what button that you're choosing. You know, mine was the B button. Uh, you can find a video on how to do that. You know, I didn't know there was videos on how to do that, so I took my wheel apart on a whim, and I guess did it right, you know, the same way I did it with my old wheel. So that's it. And hopefully... You know, someone has some positive feedback. If you don't, if it's negative shit, whatever. Get over it. You're just jealous. So leave positive feedback. If you have any, you know, constructive criticism on how to make this better, I'm new to sim racing. Definitely not new to freaking electronics, you know. 